Once in a computer science class, Sudhamurti gave a very tough problem to her students. Programming is an art to some extent. When the same problem is given, different students use different methods to arrive at the same result. Sudhamurti never insisted on a single method and allowed her students their freedom. That problem was very difficult and she herself took almost a week to solve it. When Sudhamurti brought her solution to the class, her students wanted to check it. She gave her diskette to one of them, Nandini, and said, Please copy this program on your diskette and return mine. This is the only copy I have, so be careful. Everyone gathered around. Nandini inserted the diskette into the computer drive. While she was talking to Sudhamurti, by mistake, she formatted the floppy. Formatting is nothing but clearing all the information on the diskette. Everybody was stunned. They all looked at Sudhamurti. Nandini was in tears. They were aware that Sudhamurti had spent one whole week trying to find a solution to this problem. For a while, Sudhamurti was very upset. But after five minutes, she cooled down and smiled. A smile can make tension disappear and is the best medicine in a friendship. After all, her students were her young friends. When she smiled, the bubble of tension broke. Sudhamurti got up from her chair. Nandini was sobbing. She said, Madam, I am very sorry. I didn't do it purposely. Please forgive me. Sudhamurti responded smilingly. I know you did not do it on purpose, Nandini. None of my students can do such a thing. Accidents don't require an invitation. If someone says he has never ever committed a mistake, then he must be a robot, not a human being. Even our gods and great rishis committed mistakes. Let us put our heads together and see if we can redo the program. Somebody asked Sudhamurti, Madam, how can you be so cool when you have spent so much time on that? Sudhamurti responded, Yes, I am aware of it. I will somehow steal some time and try to write the program again. I am cool because I also committed a similar mistake when I was young. Then her students immediately switched the topic from computer science to storytelling. Sudhamurti told them her story. When Sudhamurti was young, she was very sensitive about what people said about girls. If they said, girls cannot do that, Immediately, Sudhamurti used to feel she should do it just to prove them wrong. She wanted to show to the world that girls can do anything and everything. But today, she laughs at this logic. Men can do certain things well and women other things. Men and women are complementary to each other. One need not to prove one's strength. They are equally capable but may be in different field. This is a story of a time when Sudhamurti was working in a computer software firm as a systems analyst. It was way back when computer hardware was not much advanced. Today we have a tiny pen drive of an inch. But at Sudhamurti's time, a huge 15 kg heavy tendon disk drive was used. Casually, her boss made a comment one day and said, This disc is very heavy. Only men can carry it. That remark upset Sudhamurti a lot. She told him, Sir, I will carry it and show you. The disc was a bit like a gramophone but very heavy and large. It contained vital information about the company like its finances, employee details, etc. Sudhamurti took the disc and walked to the boss's room. It was really very heavy but she did not show it on her face. 
she believes strongly that showing emotions on your face is a sign of weakness but today she feels one should be as transparent as possible seeing sudha murthy walk in with the disc her boss was surprised he asked how did you manage to bring this without thinking in her happiness at having proved him wrong sudha murthy lifted her hand and let go of the disc in a fraction of a second it fell and broke into pieces the noise could be heard throughout the office everyone turned to look at sudha murthy it was the biggest mistake anyone had ever committed in the history of the company it was an unforgivable error the company's entire vital data was wiped out in a minute sudha murthy stood there dumbstruck because of her foolish behavior the whole company was going to suffer an employee should always work for the betterment of the company but what she had done she was so numb she could not even cry she went back to her desk and sat quietly after thinking for a while she knew what she had to do she took a blank sheet of paper and wrote her resignation on it that was the only way she felt she could atone for her mistake she went to her boss's chamber and gave him the letter then she stood there her head bowed in shame the boss read the letter carefully then he tore it up he said everybody commits mistakes i took a backup of the information on the disk before you lifted it the data is still intact in the store room you don't have to worry repentance itself is a punishment and you have repented enough you should not be so sensitive sensitive people suffer a lot in life go and do your work sudha murthy did not have any words to say to him and that was the end of the story now sudha murthy looked at nandini and told her it was also my mistake i should have made a copy of such an important program please do not worry i will rewrite the program i still have some notes at home friends this incident teaches us that when you become a leader you should be kind and forgiving to your subordinates it is not fear that binds you to your boss but affection openness and the appreciation of your work qualities builds a long lasting relationship we spend most of our time at our workplaces this time should be spent in happiness not in blaming each other